To log in to GP2S, type in your username and password. On the left hand side, you can see the navigation bar that consists of a project selector and a set of navigation items that lists the experimental entity types of the CryoEM workflow. Samples that are composed of proteins or ligands or combination of these two, grids, microscopy sessions, processing sessions, maps and models. The last element in the navigation bar is a link to the settings section of the application. Here, you will be able to add a number of entities that will allow you to record experiments in GP2S. Filling it in will provide information for various drop-down lists used throughout the system. The accompanying manuscript includes detailed information on how to install and configure GP2S so that it can be used to log experiments. In this video, we only illustrate one of the configuration steps, how to register a cryogenic sample holder and then to illustrate in more detail how users can register experiments in GP2S. Sample holders can be configured once microscopes have been registered by navigating to the sample holder section. When registering a new sample holder, you must specify which of the configured microscopes it can be used with and whether it can be used to cryo specimens. The GP2S application is project-oriented. It means that a workflow entity can only be created in the context of a project. The relevant project has to be selected from a drop-down. When you select a project, the number of entities of each type